Friends, creative pursuits of all kinds are like joint ventures. Joint ventures between you, the logical, sensible, practical you, and the mystical, inexhaustible, and self-sustained creative spark within you. As change makers, creators, disruptors, inventors, artists, entrepreneurs, with all creative pursuits, at some stage or the other, you'll find yourself stuck, staring at a roadblock with no possible way forward. If you're feeling stuck, don't give up. If you're exhausted all your energy, allow the divine creative spark inside you to spread its divinity. I'm delighted to present this short, beautiful poem by the Indian, great Indian poet, Rabindranath Tagore, Nobel Laureate, and this poem is titled The Closed Path. It serves as a beautiful reminder that some of our best aha moments and breakthrough ideas emerge beyond the realms of our conscious logical mind. And if we exhausted all the energy of our logical, sensible self, and if we surrender to the divine creative spark within, magical things are bound to happen. Wonderful reminder that the same force that creates that idea, that gives birth to that idea, has the power to propel you to bring it to reality. Here it goes. The Closed Path by Rabindranath Tagore. I thought that my voyage had come to its end. At the last limit of my power. That the path before me was closed. That provisions were exhausted. And the time come to take shelter in a silent obscurity. And the time come to take shelter in a silent obscurity. But I find that thy will knows no end in me. But I find that thy will knows no end in me. And when old words die out on the tongue, and when old words die out on the tongue, new melodies break forth from the heart. And where the old tracks are lost, new country is revealed with its wonders. And where the old tracks are lost, new country is revealed with its wonders. Rabindranath Tagore. Wonderful reminder to have faith. To have faith that the force that put that creative desire in your heart is also capable of showing you the way forward. Listen, listen as Rumi said, there is a voice inside your heart that does not use words. Be still, listen and surrender.